Hello guys, welcome to Book of Africa and I'm Brian or you can just call me Lars. Without wasting much of your time, I've got a question for you. Have you ever heard of Nyami Nyami? You have. But how much do you know about him? If you want to learn more about Nyami Nyami, this is where you want to be, so don't go anywhere. I've got a treat for you guys. You're going to enjoy it. Sit tight. Also, please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on new content coming from this channel every week. Let's do this. Thank you for subscribing. Now, first things first. Nyami Nyami is a serpent-like creature and it dwells in the Zambezi River. So whenever you are in the Zambezi River or you visit or you stay there, always be on the lookout, you might get a chance to see him. You never know. Legend has it that whenever the Nyami Nyami swims past, the water turns red. Nyami Nyami is royalty, so the water turning red is like his red carpet. And whenever the people try to get too close to Nyami Nyami, they would disappear. The Zambezi River would simply swallow them up. Nyami Nyami was from the supernatural world, so you couldn't get close to him. That's how powerful he was. According to legend, and some locals, Nyami Nyami looks like this. The second thing you need to know about Nyami Nyami is that he is the protector of the Tonga people. The Tonga people were a tribe which used to live along the Zambezi River before they were displaced by the rising waters caused by the construction of the Kariba Dam wall. So Nyami Nyami is an integral part of the Tonga culture. So whenever you try to mess with the Tonga people, Nyami Nyami will be there to protect them. Whether in the physical realm or in the supernatural world, Nyami Nyami will simply protect them. The Tonga people were untouchables. I wouldn't mess with the Tonga people because answering to the Nyami Nyami, that would be something else. The third thing you need to know is that the Nyami Nyami used to provide or used to give the Tsonga people some food to eat. Imagine getting all the food you want without waiting for it. It'd be like Nyami Nyami and then food would just come to you. There were two ways in which Nyami Nyami used to provide food to the Tonga people. Whenever the Tonga people were hungry, they would go to the Zambezi river to meet Nyami Nyami and Nyami Nyami would give them fish from the river. So all those doing some fishing in Kariba or in the Zambezi, Nyami Nyami is providing, you should thank him. The other way the Zambezi river God provided food to the Tonga people was by offering his body. Shocking right? I know, but here's how it went down. According to folklore, during hard times, the Tonga had free access to his flesh and were sustained by removing strips from his body. People would cut off little bits and pieces of the river god in order to satisfy themselves whenever they were hungry. You might be wondering how Nyami Nyami survived all that. Oh, he is a god for starters and he had supernatural powers so that his cut off body parts would grow back. That's how cool he was. Legend. The other thing you need to know about Nyami Nyami is that he is the longest and biggest snake ever. Ever. I know right now you might be saying, what the hell Brian, you are lying to us right now. Well, he is a mystical creature, he is from the supernatural world. You have your anacondas, you have your pythons, but they've got nothing on Nyami Nyami. Compared to Nyami Nyami, they are toddlers. According to some open sources, he is said to be about 3 meters wide, but nobody dares to guess his length. Well, 3 meters wide, that's something else guys, that's huge. That's humongous. We cannot compare the pythons or anacondas of this world. Nyam Nyami is simply the longest and biggest snake ever. When I was growing up, I would hear tales of how Nyam Nyami took hours and hours to cross the Kariba Demo. He would take six to six just crossing the Kariba Demo. Yes, people. From six in the morning to six p.m. in the evening, just crossing. That is something else. That is a record. And I haven't heard of tales of other snakes taking very long to cross a road. But Nyami Nyami would take hours to cross the Kariba Demo. So he is simply the biggest and longest snake ever. You want to believe it or not? Well, it's up to you. The other thing you need to know about Nyami Nyami, and I think this concerns everyone, so you've got to pay attention. Nyami Nyami is angry. Nyami Nyami is an angry god right now. 
because of the Kariba demo. The Kariba demo separated Nyami Nyami from his wife and this made him angry. It is said that during the construction of the Kariba demo, Nyami Nyami was so furious that he tried to sabotage the project. She is the one who was responsible for causing floods which destroyed the Kariba demo. Let's watch a clip from when the floods were destroying the Kariba demo. Nyami Nyami was responsible. Halfway through the construction, the Tonga God became very angry. Nyami Nyami caused huge floods that washed away the dam that was being constructed and killed approximately 196 people working on the construction. The locals say that Nyami Nyami will strike again and cause some floods which are going to destroy the Kariba demo once and for all. Tonga people believe that uh, one day you will cause a huge flood and the demo will be washed away. We must be ready guys. Yum yum. It's so powerful and we cannot ignore this. This is all I had for you about the legend of Nyam Nyam, the Sambezi River God and I hope you liked the video. Tell me what you think and know about the Nyam Nyam in the comment section below. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel to help me grow. Thank you for watching. See you next time.